TV streaming is a little long, so we're gonna, probably going to go a little fast. Follow-ups uh, on TV streaming, we have the announcement that Superman and Lois has just been renewed for a second season, hot off of the first episode ever, which got higher ratings than The Flash, which is pretty impressive, considering The Flash has been the show for the Arrowverse, even though the Arrow doesn't exist anymore, for the Arrowverse for a long time. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. I don't know if... I, I don't know when. I, at this point, it's pro, it's an inevitability. I will watch it. I just don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, next, we're talking about, and this is very well out of date already, and I just found this last night in my research, but uh, we're, next we're talking about WandaVision. WandaVision, uh, St- Paul Bettany made a really interesting admission in that his little teaser of the Luke Skywalker moment that we got from Mandalorian that they, they were trying to co-opt for WandaVision is really just Bettany working with himself. At the, the This isn't really a spoiler at this point. The uh, previous episode has been out for a week. The most recent episode is out now. Uh, but there was the reveal that we got the, I forget the name of that version of Vision, but it's like the colorless Vision. I'm And I apologize. All you comic book nerds are totally going to hang me in the comments but whatever um so it, it his he thought he was making a joke nobody got it it was a dumb joke the person he's always wanted to work with is himself and that's what they uh, yeah kind of lackluster we also have word from one of the producers that all of these uh these fan theories are really awesome but if you believe most of them or any of them seems you're probably going to be disappointed by the final episode i don't know what that means again i have not watched episode nine but i just brought my expectations down a lot uh that's what we have there next we're talking about asterix uh so those that don't know asterix is a classic uh, French co- uh, f- comic strip f- comedy comic strip yeah that's the word wow things uh, yeah Asterix has been going on for a long time in France it's kind of an institution at this point and Netflix is turning it into an animated series weird because they're doing that with everything uh this is very specific though it it will be 3d animated uh it will be based on the uh asterisk and the big fight story where the romans after being embarrassed uh, constantly by asterisk and his village cohorts i'm just reading the synopsis i apologize uh organize a brawl between rival ghoulish chiefs uh gaulish chiefs i'm sorry and try to fix the result by kidnapping a druid along with his much needed magic potion uh so hilarity ensues man it's going to be done in France, and uh, a couple of the people who have done work uh, producing and writing the actual comics are going to be show running the show with Netflix, so that's pretty cool. Moving on. Our last piece in TV streaming has to do with HBO Max. This is really weird, but kind of good for the rest of the world. Um, so HBO Max is considering, uh, Warner Brothers Media in general is considering doing a tier for HBO Max that is going to be cheaper than their current... I think they only have the one option, and it's like 16 bucks a month, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, because uh, CEO Bob Chapik said, and I quote, that uh, the, the rest of the world is not wealthy, unquote. Um, no kidding, boss. All right. Uh, so this means that they're planning an ad-supported tier for HBO Max. And uh, according to Chapik himself, they're planning on rolling this out sometime later this year so if you don't have hbo max yet and you want it and you're okay with commercials or you just don't have the 16 bucks a month there you go it's who knows what cheaper means to these companies too because it's 16 dollars a month so 10 dollars a month is technically cheaper but like that's still kind of a lot of money 120 dollars a year for what boils down to one uh, set of channels, like the set being like somewhere in the neighborhood of like five to eight channels of what you would get content wise on like a, 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 a cable or satellite service. It seems like a lot of money still, but we don't know that $10 is going to be the number. It could be five. It could be four. I'm hoping it's uh, free and it's just that heavily ad supported because then everybody can get that content. But who freaking knows? We're going to move right along. 